Hi everyone, I'm Marianne, visual artist and voice coach from Singapore and welcome to day two of my 100 day vlog, um, 100 day creative vlog series, creative video series, um, video sharing series. No idea what to call this series yet, um, but basically I'm here to share about like stuff that I learned over my years as a creative and as an artist and as a voice coach. Um, you know, things about like the creative process, about the artistic journey, about self-expression, um, personal development, stuff like that, okay? Um, so if you're an aspiring artist, this, you know, might be something you might want to tune into. I have no idea. I have no idea right now who needs to hear all this. I just know that I feel compelled to share what I know and what I've learned. Um, and this is something I've been meaning to do for the longest time, but just never could get to it. So finally now I'm here, I'm doing it um, almost you know, a little over 100 days to the end of the year. And I decided that, you know what, for the next 100 days, I'm going to do this vlog because it's something I've been meaning to do. And because I want to end this year on a high. And if you're like me and you want to end this year, you know, doing something that's really meaningful to you, um, now is a great time to start. So yesterday I talked about... Uh, if you have a, a creative idea or a project that you've been meaning to start on but you just keep waiting for that perfect day where you finally have like, you know, nine hours to work on it. Um, <laughs> in today's video, I'm going to tell you that 99.99999% of... Uh, there is a 99.9999% chance that that is not going to happen. Because life, you know, if you, if you live in the 21st century like most of us in the developed world, um, it's very hard to have a day or a full day to yourself where you can just do whatever that creative project thing is. Um, so the most effective and efficient way to actually achieve your creative project or creative goal, whatever that is, is to work on it consistently um, you know, over a period of time rather than waiting for that one perfect day. Um, so it's actually better to start on something and to keep going at it and um, yeah and eventually you will get to that finish line as long as you keep going at it every single day or every week um, however long that time frame you set for yourself so one thing that I've learned over the years is called um, consistency is key and this is something that a guy named Sean McCabe um, says a lot in his um, in his branding. <laughs> um, he's a hand lettering artist who became like a online business owner and yeah. So this is one thing that I take away from his, you know, content, which is consistency is key. And um, for me personally, I think, you know, doing it daily uh, is the best way to go about it. Like, you know, whatever project that you have in mind, um, you know, if you can put aside like 10 minutes a day to work on it that is better than not ever doing it at all or, or better than you know putting aside like three hours at the end of the week and then not actually getting to it um, so yeah like but of course you know this also depends on your project and the scope of it I guess what I'm saying is that um, you know don't let your busyness in your life get in the way of you doing the thing that really matters to you and um, that that you really want to that you really want to achieve and you want and that brings uh, meaning to your life and that you know most important of all that um, that you're gonna regret not doing if you don't actually get to it we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow so the best time to start on the thing that you really want to do is right now um, and the best way to go about that is to do it on a consistent basis daily if possible um, if not you know then every week but make it consistent like you know every Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. this is when I'm gonna do my painting or write my story or whatever that is yeah and keep it consistent um, how to keep that consistent habit um, is a whole other thing which I will share in another video but essentially you know the idea of um, doing a daily project um, is also to build this discipline that you can you know that you cultivate in yourself such that you're able to get things done. Um, so for my own personal experience, um, you know, consistency is something that I struggle with a lot. <laughs> um, I usually work best when there's a deadline and it's like, you know, getting closer and closer and then I'm like, okay, I have to do this now. 
which is why this 100 day project really suits me because the deadline is every single day <laughs> and every single day I got to put up a new video and share about something new so help me out and ask me questions about the creative process and artist journey and you know self-expression so that I at least have something to talk about for the next 97 days um, but yeah aside from that <laughs> aside from that you know if you're someone who struggles a lot with consistency um, so maybe start you know with something simple like a 30-day project you know it could you don't even need to do a creative project to start if you want to build some discipline although I would recommend just do that creative project and don't overthink it just get it done um, but even as, as simple as you know waking up at a certain time every single day for example um, yeah and then how to keep track of that is a whole other thing but recently I did um, I did my very first uh, animated story well it's not my first one but it's the first one that I decided that I'm just gonna do it and just finish it um, I started I think in July or end of or June maybe and almost every single day I worked on it um, because you know I, I have trouble keeping up with the everyday thing uh, but almost every single day I worked on it and you know it I don't spend a lot of time on it each day, maybe like two hours, three hours tops. Um, and you know, now I have a finished animation that's like five minutes long. Um, it has music, it has sound effects. Um, it's not fully edited yet, but it's getting there soon. And yeah, like two months ago, um, I wouldn't even have thought that I would have, I would be an animator, <laughs> let alone have a finished uh, product. Um, and interestingly also the th the funny thing about the about you know doing your creative projects now and starting to work on them consistently is that it's only when you start working on them um, new ideas would come new inspiration would come um, and you learn stuff along the way as well but it's only in the process of actually taking action consistently and just doing it that's when um, yeah, that's when something new opens up for you so um, yeah so consistency is key remember that um, work on it every single day if you can you know set yourself a time frame a hundred days is the best because if you start now you're gonna end right before the end of the year and you can celebrate that you have finished something that really matters to you subscribe to my youtube channel like my facebook page um, whatever links you need to follow me and find out more about me are below and um, I will see you tomorrow.